Where does the music for the trailers come from? Are they in-game or are they exclusive to the trailers? Well, it's both. In this video, we're going to be taking a closer look at the music used in the Tears of the Kingdom trailers. Starting off with the first reveal trailer, this is when the game was still in early stages, so the music is a lot different than the current music, specifically the voices. So obviously this specific music is nowhere in the game. However, it was the building block for the prologue music. Moving on to the second teaser trailer, the first bit of music we hear is this bass drop when we first saw Zelda fall. Which is also the same bass drop used in the credits music. Then of course we get the classic Tears of the Kingdom theme. Ending with Zelda's lullaby played on the Arhu. So if we heard this trailer with only the music, it would sound something like this. Onto the first official trailer, it starts off with the light root music found in the game. Then it moves into the intro theme from the game. So the trailer with only music would sound something like this.
The second official trailer has the most music from the game, taking five different songs from the game and making one epic trailer soundtrack. The first bit we hear is this. This comes from the beginning and end sections of the Wind Temple Phase 2 music. Next it moves into some randomly added drums, then it takes the music played during the cutscene when Ganondorf is raising Hyrule Castle. Then it uses two different sections from the Phase 2 Ganondorf fight, which we'll listen to in the end result. After that, it plays the Tears of the Kingdom theme. So altogether, the whole trailer music would sound something like this. The final trailer is almost entirely custom music, starting off with the beginning of the Demon Dragon theme.
Then it moves into the main Zelda theme. After that, we hear the Breath of the Wild theme. Then, we hear the Hyrule Castle theme. After that, we hear something similar to Minda's Lament. Then it goes into Ganon's theme. Then we hear a custom piece with the Tears of the Kingdom voices. We then get a small snippet of the Zelda Overworld theme. And of course we hear more of Ganon's theme. Then we get an epic version of the Zelda Overworld theme. Then we get a section with its own custom piece. And finally, it ends with Zelda's lullaby played on the piano.
That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more Zelda content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.